actually. You know, I'm telling you, I don't think it gets much better than this. I mean, talking about an entire selection, entire product line of just raw vegan stuff. I mean, it's it's just kind of paradise, I guess you could say. Show us what you're getting. No, I'm gonna eat that right now. Oh, perfect. What are we? Right now we're eating this. But what are we eating it with? With this, we're dipping. Dipping those. Dipping in there? those into that. We each have one. Package. As long as there's a huh? method to your badness. There is. Not what are we tuna, dipping into? What? Oh. Well, you see, you know, people like this whole idea of tuna fish, like a That's creamy cool. thing, but it right. doesn't have to be a fish. It could be anything. Here we have cashews and sunflower seeds, and if you put the same spices that you would put with a dead fish, man, it tastes the same. They call it mock tuna. When I used to have a restaurant, Food Without Fire, that was our best-selling dish. It was called mock tuna. The restaurant didn't survive, but man, I'll never forget the mock tuna. Good to see they have it here, too. But what are we, di what are we dipping into it? Oh, well, we're dipping in the... You know, because the mock tuna by itself isn't going to work. You got to put this on a salad, which is a good idea. You just make a salad dressing. Or today we are going to dip, and we're going to be dipping with sesame nori crackers. And so it's going to be a simple little lunch, a little snack lunch on the move here in you could call it paradise, or you could call its real name, Glacier Farms here in Homestead.